Welcome back here on my channel. Thanks for joining me here in my diecast room in Bavaria in Germany. Now we are back with another episode of Matchbox 5-Pack Unboxing. So um, last time I bought these 5-Packs at Ali Süd for 5 euros each. This time I got them at Lidl for 5 euros and 99 cent each, which is still a fair price in my opinion. So um, they had a huge variety of these five packs and I bought all the five packs I didn't already have. So all in all I bought five of these five packs, but the other two I will show in another video. So let's do a quick overview. We got the Matchbox Mountain 2 set, the City Adventure 3 set and the Autobahn Express 3 set. And I would say we start with this set right here. Let's do a quick overview. You can see we got the Golf GTI here on the side and also here on the back. So um, yeah, what is special about this set? I mean, we have five licensed cars, five German licensed cars in one set. And that is kind of cool. And especially for that price, I think that is a very good deal. So let's get this out of its packaging. Let's take a quick look at the cars. Let's start with the Porsche Panamera coming here. Focus in white with details on the back. We got a license plate, taillights and also the Porsche lettering. Here on the back, we got details on the front, the Porsche badge, nice black wheels. And yeah, we got a, um, I hope you can see it on camera. Uh, yeah, matte white livery. Mm, yeah, I'm not really sure about that. I think it's a little bit, the surface is a little bit too, too rough, in my opinion. So it's not like, uh, yeah, satin white. It's a matte white, yeah. Mm, yeah, could have been better anyways, um, I think it's a very nice casting, so let's put it into parking position and we go on with the BMW M5 in German police livery, coming with a chrome 5 spokes, unfortunately no details on the back and no details on the front. <clears throat> comes with a light bar for sure, which is piece uh, part of this inner plastic piece. Um, what I wanted to show you is this. This is another version of this car. I guess this is a British police livery and this one, take a look, came with um, yeah, headlights and it does look much better in my opinion. But yeah, that's the way it goes. Sometimes you have more details, sometimes less. We go on with the Volkswagen GTI in this uh, yeah, yellow livery. It's also got a little bit of uh, orange in it, in my opinion. Details on the front and on the back. What is a little bit unfortunate is the Post that you can see obvious, obviously in this car, but yeah. Once again, it is how it is. Uh, this is another version of the Volkswagen GTI in uh, metallic black. And what I do like um, is when the cars have some differences. And now look at the license plates and the left one is saying GTI Live and the right one is saying my GTI. So yeah, there is something that I personally do like. Then we have oops the Opel Speedster in this yeah metallic silver metallic um, matte livery. It feels good. We have some details on the front and on the back. And what 
I haven't seen before is how the license plate is done. Normally it's uh, yeah, printed on the cars, but in this case it seems to be part of this in a plastic piece. Interesting. Uh, by the way, I love the color combination, these uh, golden rims and uh, silver livery. Very nice. And the last one of the Autobahn Express is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog. Yeah, I'm not an expert for uh, Unimogs, but yeah, I do like this one. Also the livery, Rain Renek. To be honest, I don't know what that is. Okay, that was the Autobahn Express. And now I would say we go on with the City Adventure 3. So uh, we got the Ford Raptor here on the side and on the back. So um, I would say we start with um, this 1965 Land Rover and when I saw it in the packaging I thought hey I already got this one and here it is but the cool thing is this one, the one from the 5 pack oops, sorry, has the uh, roof, the, the variation of the roof piece, which is kind of cool. Can take that off for sure. Um, and yeah, I think that's the only difference. Um, I don't know if it's good to see on camera, but um, the right one, this is the one from the five pack um, this tan color is a little bit darker yeah but it's not so cool are these blacked out windows yeah looks a little bit strange also this uh, snake skin livery We just go on with the Willys Jeep. This one has a very nice livery on it, in my opinion. Also, um, yeah, more like matte livery. Comes with some molded in details on the side, a shovel, and here on the back. We got the jerry can and the spare tire. No details on the front, nothing on the back, but all in all, a good looking model. This is, um, by the way, another version. Uh, here you can see the, um, the shovel is painted. Yeah, I think that's a uh, Nice detail. So now we got this one here, the Ford 150 SVT Raptor. Once again, a uh, matte livery, this time in black. And I think this one is looking very good. And it has a lot of details on it. So we got... Um, yeah, the molded in Ford lettering here on the front. We got um, headlights, we got details on the side and also on the back. And that is um, yeah, uncommon, I would say, for a one euro model. But this one has it, comes also with details here on the bed, spare tire sitting here. And we also got a tow hitch. So, um, this one definitely is my personal highlight of this package. 
of this five pack. Very nice. Into parking position and we go on with this one here. The 1959 Chevy wagon. Well, <laughs> I don't know um, what happened here, but um, this uh, inner plastic piece is just looking weird. So this car looks like a, like a shop that is closed or something. I don't know. Um, it's just not looking good in my opinion. I mean, also a matte livery, this time in this uh, olive green. This is kind of cool, but um, yeah, this inner plastic piece is just strange. But we got a canoe on top. And of course we can take that off. I think we can also put this onto the Land Rover if you do like that. <laughs> it looks a little bit like a banana. Anyway, um, let's change it back where it belongs. Um, yeah. So now, um, the last one is an unlicensed model that I haven't seen before, to be honest. The Malibu Marauder. So this looks kind of wild. Um, yeah, I mean it's an unlicensed model, but I have to say, um, in a certain way, I do like this one. It's coming with a yellow tinted uh, windshield and sunroof. Yeah, I could imagine this uh, thing driving to the beach. Why not? So, yeah, that's a, a Malibu Marauder. And that was the last one of the Adventure City Adventure 3 set. And now we only have one set left, which is the Matchbox Mountain 2 set. Once again, a quick look at the Packaging, we got the Jeep Cherokee Trailblazer here on the side and on the back. Let's get this out of its packaging and I would say we start with the Volkswagen Beetle 4x4. Um, yeah, I have to admit, this is definitely not my cup of tea. I'm not a huge Beetle fan. And yeah, I think this just is just looking weird. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't really like it. Sorry for that. If you are a huge Beetle fan, but uh, yeah. Into the parking position and we quickly go on with uh, this one here, the Ford Interceptor Utility. At least that's what the packaging is saying here on the base. It says Ford Explorer. Um, well, first I thought it's the same, or at a first glance I thought it's the, the same casting as this one, but um, yeah, definitely not um, if you take a close look. Comes with this uh, yeah, kind of roof rack and uh, auxiliary lights here. <clears throat> yeah, so um, this is also a little bit, in my opinion, a strange version. I have to say, I don't like the color of this plastic piece uh, with the push bar. Um, the color, in my opinion, is not matching with this. Uh, green stripe here on the side, so um, yeah, I mm, I don't know, <laughs> not definitely not uh, my favorite, let's put it next to the Beetle, so uh, my highlight of this set definitely is the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk, comes in this beautiful red color. And um, I mean, look at those details, very, very crisp at the front and also here on the back. Very, very nice, in my opinion. So let's call it the king, the king of mountain, king of mountain two Matchbox 5 pack. So now, um, to unlicensed models, this one here. 
is the hail cat. So yeah, some kind of a snowmobile. Some details here on the back. I hope you can see it. There's a, a chainsaw and I think some jerry cans. And here in the front we have a winch. And we have yeah, blue tinted uh, windows, frosted windows. But um, I mean, you can see the post in here. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. Otherwise, um, I think this is a really nice unlicensed model. Definitely. And the last one isn't a car. Stuck in the packaging. Last one is this guy here, the Matchbox Rescue Helicopter. Yeah, um, to be honest, um, don't know what to say about this thing. I'm not an expert for helicopters. Seems like this one has no interior. Yeah. So that's it. Let's maybe we can bring the camera back a little so you can see all of the cars together. So yeah, I think um, for five euros and ninety nine cents, uh, pretty nice buy in my opinion. Yeah, what do you think? Write it in the comments down below. I say. Thanks for watching and if you did like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I say thank you for watching, happy hunting and see you next time. Bye.